13 minutes after midnight, members of the wedding party entered the safe room, placing the ring into a safety deposit box, which was slid into the safe and closed for the night. No sensors indicate that either the safe door or the lockbox was opened again until the following morning. Please note, he has activated the time lock, which prevents the safe from opening. No one walks into that room again until the following morning when the ring is discovered missing. So it definitely didn't disappear during the night. Or so they would like you to think. However, if you look closely, there are nine glitches on this tape. I'm sorry, glitches? Scenes, static bursts in the image. Someone could have tapped in an alternate video feed of this room while it was empty. Or, more likely, as I believe, someone built a scale replica of this room. <laughs> Who laughed? Nobody? <laughs> if someone disagrees with my theory, I'd like to know. It does seem very elaborate. And just a bit far-fetched. Are you a detective? Why are you here? You asked for all of us to come. Oh, well, officer, since you're such an expert on fetching, why don't you fetch me a cup of coffee? <laughs> Moving on. All the employee alibis check out, except this one, Dietrich Mannheim, currently the facilities manager. You may remember him from the security video. He was in the room when the ring was placed into the safety deposit box. During questioning, he was nervous, evasive, and contradicted himself more than once. His work computer history reveals that he recently visited websites for boats and expensive cars, and he failed to show up for work. Questions. Is this your only lead? His responses to my interrogation were hostile at best. Clarify hostile. Use my tone now as a guide.